uh, only yesterday we had uh, inspection of our IVF center and uh, there was a door we sailed through but there were a couple of things are there because a senior person like me was sitting here though so out of respect probably few of things they ignored but if they find a younger person probably they may not ignore so this is uh, what the uh, basis behind it that why i said that uh, inspection uh, must be uh, you must sail through without any problem uh, at the outset i congratulations to each one of you for a safe landing of chandrayaan 3 all of us are very proud about it and uh, now uh, you can definitely look at the moon today and then probably you'll find our flag there now changes are welcomed and we want this transition also should be smooth but changes are always welcome but the transition is hard it's not so very easy for the government also the transition is very difficult it is very easy to pass the act but the transition is difficult now we know these two acts there is it uh, art act regulation 21 which is act 42 is reality and the same is surrogacy which is act 47 is a reality but it found that in a 17 states did not cooperate they were giving the central government hiccups so they passed another order which is which was to rule out difficulties order number 22 which was passed in 22 and I still, I'm still told that in state of UP, people have not even paid the money. We've gone through that and now we have come into inspection stage. But in UP, things have not started. How many other states are there? I do not know anything about it. Now, what are these two acts? I think all of you know about it. Just uh, for India became a major hub for a global fertility industry. In 2020, it was a peak, but it was largely unregulated. No suitable legislation was there to regulate and discipline the fast evolving ART medical service. We were on the top as far as the surrogacy was concerned. We were a surrogacy hub, but there were unethical practices going on, exploiting the surrogate as well as the donor. And there was a proliferation of commercial surrogacy and they were just touching the roof. Our law ministry uh, did uh, some investigations and suggested uh, uh, the minister, uh, health minister, as well as the PM, that you know prevention of misuse has to be brought uh, immediately. And that's why uh, Madam Shushma Saraj took it uh, um, uh, in between uh, the law was made for the safe and ethical ART practices and surrogacy. Now, I must tell you about when these people, three officers came, fourth officer joined afterwards. They came to visit for inspection. It was a surprise visit to us. And I was told that they were, they were all trained how to do inspection. Out of that, there was a lady who was an appropriate authority. She had a triple charge, PCP and DT charge. She has a charge of the ART. Uh, 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 East Delhi, uh, she was uh, the appropriate authority for this as well as for surrogacy. Then there was a CDMO and there was uh, from a district collector's office, there was one official. And I again repeat, they were all trained and had this particular booklet, which till yesterday I did not have. I only got it yesterday. So they know exactly how to do inspection. But they were very courteous because they were very senior officers. Now, the rules of the game is for the in charge of the IVF center is please introduce all your staff. And they in turn will introduce their team with full designation and everything. They have your center file, which you have filled it yourself and submitted. They are here to verify the same. Staff on board, their experience, Whether your equipments are working or not, the registers, the files, consents, and counseling session. Now, once we have introduced ourselves, they want to visit the IVF center. 
and verify each equipment listed. So much so, they asked me that, Madam, ask your embryologist to open all the equipments. So they saw the infrastructure of our IVF center, IUI lab. Uh, they want to see A to Z of level one and a level two areas. First, they saw where the IUI semen processing is done, the IUI room. Uh, they checked for two incubators. Sir, I wish to tell you here that we have a big incubator and the laptop of incubator of ours is not functioning. But, you know, the incubator which is kept for uh, IUI semen processing and, you know, keeping all the uh, things, are they counted that as a thing. So minimum two incubators must be there in your center. They can be number, number can be anything, but minimum should be two incubators should be there. Laminar airflow, they saw to it, they uh, sperm counting chamber, centrifuge, microscope for IUI and things like that they saw. They opened up the uh, uh, refrigerators and saw whether they were working and the temperature was maintained. Equipment for a cryo preservations they saw. They also saw over aspiration pump. And equipments, they saw the ultrasound machine and they verified the TBS probe, the needle guard, and the uh, PCP entity certificates, which was updated or not. In my center, for every machine, there was a PCP entity certificate but which was displayed outside in the in in the our waiting area had uh, old uh, pcp entity certificate that lady pointed out to me dr jain everywhere you have updated certificate but in your waiting area it is uh, last uh, pcp entity certificate so they have that that kind of a sharp eyes they saw the test tube warmer ivf working station air handling unit they wanted to know why uh, you are having a extra coda filter. I said it previously we had small ones and now because once we have a big HEPA filter, we don't use it anymore. Then they saw the anesthesia resuscitation trolley, ICSI machine, and they asked about the generator. As for the staff is concerned, they checked all qualifications and DMC certificates. Uh, as far as uh, all the doctors are concerned, they had already given the affidavit and the DMC certificates were in place. They wanted each and every staff which is on board should have a minimum three years experience. So he's, she said, you know, all people, you people are all senior because she, she knew when uh, this IVF center was started. She did not make anything about this. But otherwise, she said, Madam, I, I hope your all staff is, uh, has three years uh, senior, are they? Then they wanted IVF nurse also should have three years experience. The lab technician, they checked the certificate as far as the year of experience, counselor qualification, and again, years of experience. And then so much so that, you know, when they saw the file, they saw, saw whether the, actually you do a counseling session or not. I, I'm glad that, you know, in our uh, files, everything is in place. Now, they saw the certificates. PCP entity certificate, which is updated. MTP certificate, which is updated. Nursing home certificates, also they wanted it updated. Now, in Delhi, as far as East Delhi is concerned, our certificates have uh, finished on the 31st of March. Then that lady asked me, uh, uh, Madam, your certificate for the nursing home is not updated. So I told her that you will visit, uh, Madam, if this is the third center, you will visit in East Delhi. Nobody, they have done it. And when we had uh, questioned them, then they said, we will inform you, don't get bothered about it. So you have to explain to them. Now, they asked for the lab. I said it is out store, uh, sourced to uh, uh, Lars' uh, lab, and it has been functioning uh, for uh, since 2016. They saw the file and it was updated, but you know the last uh, uh, MOU was not there, which was missing for last two years. So again, she pointed out to me that, Madam, uh, it's okay that we can see your file has been uh, all MOUs are, have been here. It is by labs by your staff that it is not there. Please see to it because after uh, uh, Delhi's inspection, central team can come and they can pick up 50 centers in Delhi and they can inspect. So uh, this time it's okay, but you know, for the major inspection, you should keep it with you. And they saw the IVF, IUI registers in detail. IUI registers, IUI consent, self and donor, 
and the records they pointed out three four cases and they said uh, show us the records of the few files of IUI and monthly records which we sent to Delhi government on the fifth of every month again they saw they saw IVF register just a labor room register of Tennessee have make IVF register banana Kai then they saw embryology uh, sheets where we preserve and a cryopreservation register marked few files saw in detail each file and the consent they were obsessive they were obsessive about the consents because we are not doing donor as yet so uh, uh, form number 12 13 14 15 was not relevant i will i will come to it what they asked about it they saw the cryopreservation register and they asked about uh, why are you doing semen uh, process uh, semen uh, cryofreezing so i told them that you know it's our policy that we uh, one specimen of sper uh, semen we freeze and uh, uh, this is it so then she did not she said uh, where do you when you preserve it i said normally our policy will be preserved at day three she says it's not that it has not happened that you have preserved blastocyst so i said we at times uh, freeze that so then she was quiet about it and i will say that i must congratulate this inspecting team they were very courteous very respectful but very very meticulous now when it came to donor he says, I said that uh, in past we were doing prior to this particular uh, act, but as for the new, after the act, we have not taken donor as yet, because I'm just trying to find it out from the other people, get confident about it, that, you know, we are not caught up in any kind of these things. And because uh, we have made, the uh, Delhi people have made uh, one group also, where they load uh, the Aadhaar card, the lady's photo also, as for the donors are concerned, because they are getting repeated. So she said, I appreciate this particular thing. But on a donor and a donor paperwork, she was, she, they had high concern and they wanted to know. So I said, you can see our old files, but as for new files are concerned, we have not done a donor after that. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, I was taken care by that. Uh, they asked me, kept probing me that Dr. Jain, why are you not doing donor uh, in ART cycles? I said, there is no ART bank in East Delhi. She said, what about the other places? I said, as far as I'm concerned, there are very few banks may be there. But in East Delhi, there are no bank. So she says, she, then she said, uh, I'm glad that you have uh, told me about this, that why you are not doing taking a donor uh, cycle so far. Then she asked for a grievance cell register because, you know, then she asked him, who are the members of your grievance cell team? So I told, that, I told her. And uh, she saw the uh, file there, uh, you know, the, the grievance cell team. Uh, there is a lawyer name is Jay Malik. He's a Supreme Court lawyer. He says, I saw the same Dr. Uh, Jay Malik uh, in Dr. Jain's uh, center, which I had done yesterday. I said, uh, sir, madam, this is this Jay uh, Malik is not the same person because I know about this gentleman that he is not uh, consulting any of the IVF center. He's very senior uh, Supreme Court lawyer. Uh, so she said, Malik naam bohut common. So what then she asked me, where is the uh, register? I said, uh, look, this uh, post box so you have seen it outside, and this team has taken it here, and I have given you the name, but what, the grievance cell register, I have not maintained it. So uh, uh, I, if you say so, I can immediately do it. So I got a new uh, register, and I put a grievance cell on the top of it, and I inside I wrote what is the grievance cell team, and uh, form five, uh, I made three, four forms to, uh, uh, I kept it there. So she was satisfied, they were satisfied with this grievance cell register. Nothing to get panicky. There's not, no job is done. It is, you have to write on a register, on a white paper, grievance cell register. Inside on the reverse page, you write down what is your grievance cell team. And uh, form five, get two things kagas aapne usme lagane hai. Jisse ki koi complain kare to you should have a ready uh, forms available for them. Then she asked, uh, do you have any litigation against the IVF center or any member, any team member? So again, uh, you have to, for everything, you have to put a signature because every page, they, they take your signature. We, they fill up the forms, everything themselves, but they want an each and every paper, the signature of mine should be there. They want the date, my qualifications on the same. So this is one column is there. Any litigations against the center or any, or any member of the team? Then they ask uh, against the PCP and DT Act, is any action has been taken for your center? Again, you have to say in case if it is not there, again, you have to put a signatures for that. Say. 
So PCP and DT is separate and litigations are separate. They wanted to know whether the genset is available, working for to give light 24 hours, in short. Then staff experience, they were very categorical that no staff should be there, which is less than three years. And uh, they were all carrying this particular book. So uh, they asked me, I said, uh, ma'am, will you uh, give this, if four of you are having a copy, give me one copy. Then she said, uh, madam, it is available in Lakshmi Nagar. Otherwise, uh, if it is not available, you, I, I, you can send somebody, I can give it to you. But I got the same day. So I can definitely say best of luck uh, to each one of you. Just keep calm and nothing more than this. I'm going to just send this particular uh, slide uh, thing uh, in both the things, surrogacy group as well as uh, infertility uh, chat group also. So you, you know exactly uh, what I say. Uh, Ma'am, uh, one last question. Uh, what, what were they asking? What is the MOU that they are asking for? Ma'am, जब भी आपको lab से outsource करते हैं, तो एक MOU sign करना पड़ता है आपको और lab को. वो MOU आपके record में होना जरूरी है. Maintenance of lab, right, ma'am? Maintenance of lab की बात होगी. Lab test, lab test. जो भी हमारे lab test में जाते हैं, वो सब हम lab test. Okay, okay, okay. The lab test. Lab में जाते हैं. Okay, okay. अगर बड़ा hospital होगा, तो आपकी अपनी lab हो सकती है. हाँ, हाँ, हाँ. Okay, we have lab. But <laughs> 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 Is it enough? Some, someone with working with See, me for seven years? In, in our frame, let me be very frank with you. Our junior embryologist and uh, the counselor are two BAMS girls who are topper of their batch. Now, because we had to accommodate them, so once we trained uh, them as a junior embryologist, another person as a counselor, they were very happy with this. Because they saw in the file, you know, the counseling part had been done very nicely, so they did not make any objection to it. Uh, is BSC enough, enough for a counselor, I think? There's no problem. Anybody can be trained, man. Any nurse can be also trained, you know. Um, know what they, they, they want a master's in sociology. You know, they, they should be trained counselors. But uh, they did not make any problem. Uh, Dr. Jyoti Pajit, good, evening, ma good evening, ma'am. Sorry, just one question that about the counseling, ma'am. Uh, could you elaborate a little bit? Like you said that we've maintained it very well. So what were the points that uh, they were looking for? Or what were the points that we must they include? They were not looking for anything. Let me be very frank with you. Because the counselor is must even for IUI clinic. So counseling, we will write something in it. So we have done this counseling. So I have made two pages. We, we train in IVF. So we, we this is a part of our training. So we mm. have made it, we give it to them, and same thing we use for our every file. Okay. If you want, I can share it with you. Please, ma'am, if you could share please that. Share with me. Please share, please share ma'am, please share that. Uh, Dr. Bali. I'm, I'm uh, yeah. You're on mute, you're on mute. Okay, sorry. Now, am I audible, ma'am? Uh, ma'am, beautiful presentation outlined by you and the initiative taken is worth uh, applaud from all of us today and grateful to you for having called for this meeting today. I went through this inspection day before yesterday in my clinic and it was a surprise visit as I mentioned. But the point was, there are a few points I would like to add. Today they sent a mail to me saying that by Monday, I must take out the BMS doctor's name from that counselor's list and put a person who's qualified in psychology or a BSc nursing is uh, acceptable. But they have not accepted a BMS doctor as a counselor in my clinic. Number one. Number two, this I have it on my mail today. So I have to apply, I have to give the papers on Monday now. Another thing they asked was uh, that, you know, the certificate uh, show 150 pickups for the doctor. So I said, Why, fine, I've been applying for six years in my PNDT now in my own clinic. I will give the experience. So 50 pickups ka record manga aaj unhone mail ke upar mere se. So that we have to comply by Monday. And another thing they objected to was that the uh, 
uh, rate list has to be there. So the rate list for ultrasound and everything was displayed in the clinic, but they have said you must display the clinic charges somewhere in the clinic at the reception. There should be no grumbling on this, that one patient is being charged this much, one patient is being charged this much. You must display it clearly like you have displayed. So this grievance cell ka thoda janjat kam ho jayega aapka. This is what was their suggestion to us. So we have put up today and we will be sending them a picture on Monday that we have already complied with all the suggestions that you have made. As rest ma'am said, there is no need to panic, number one. Just quietly be very cool and calm as we have been doing it for last so many years for our PNDT uh, inspections. It is just a little extra added because they will be visiting your lab. And they are very particular about the cryo cans. They, they are very well trained, as ma'am pointed out. They want to see semen freezing can. They want to, they, they know what is an infected can. So they question me, do you have a separate can for infected patients? I said, I don't take up HIV. But yes, there were two, three patients I have done for HCV and I have a separate can. So have you labeled that can? We showed them the label. They, they are that meticulous with their work. And uh, they know the names of the bench incubator and everything. So this is Hira cell, this is bench incubator, suction pump, ICSI micro manipulator. They will, you will feel that they have come so well prepared that you will be taken aback by their questions. But you will be happy to, you know, give them all the information and they will also feel satisfied and, you know, be happy with the lab. So it is all that is required is be cool, be calm, whatever is there provided, whatever is not there. Please keep noting it down and say we will comply with it. Very politely tell them, sir, we did not know about this. We shall comply with this. And they'll give you a time to, you know, uh, complete those formalities. Today on the mail, another thing they have asked today is an MCH oblique DNB in urology. So I said, fair enough. I have my husband as a urologist. I will be sending his papers now. So on Monday, I will be sending 50 uh, pickups ka experience to show for myself, my husband's paper, who's an MCH urologist, and I have to show a BSc nursing girl as a counselor and not the BMS doctor. Now, this is something which was different. Grievance cell box was there. Register, ma'am, has already mentioned. So the register, even if it is empty, it should be available there. And your ultrasound machine must have that yellow book tied because that is important for PNDT as well. They were particular about this. Your PNDT certificates updated should be on the wall. And the second booklet, which they pointed out, was should be at the reception also. So this yellow book, please tie it with a thread so there can be no question of somebody removing it or your receptionist removing it from there. It should be there at the reception counter and tied up with your ultrasound machine. So it will not move out of these two places because this is something which they ask for. And other than that, I don't think I can recollect more points. In the meanwhile, Dr. Sangeeta would be adding some points and I'll tell you what more they asked. The inspection lasted for four hours in the clinic. They were there for four hours. Total four hours they inspected. Another thing they said, semen freezing register, embryo freezing register. They went through the consents properly, reading many files, you know, as if they have not been cooked up last minute for them. So they said, how many embryo freezings have you done so far? Do you do it for every case? What is the day three, day five, semen freezing? Why have you done so many? For every case, are you doing it? What is the logical reason behind doing it? Then into my IUI lab, they asked, why do you have a TV monitor in your IUI lab? I said, sometimes they bring outside reports for semen analysis. We like to show them what is the count, what is the motility, and what is the morphology? And why we have suggested ICSI, why we have said IUI, why we have said IVF with logical reasoning there. So they were they went into all these details of the equipment. So th these are the points that were asked by uh, uh, these four people in the clinic who had come and they introduced themselves as nodal officer, one as a lawyer, one from the PNDT office, which is in charge of that particular area, and one more assistant who, uh, who was, you know, on multiple duties with them. So there were these four people who had come. Uh, here, I just wish to tell you also in, in our uh, wall, you know, in IVF center, the glass wall we have written down, the inspection from the third party has been done. So they also saw that much also. Then they yes. saw the culture register also. Yes. Okay. And for MTP registration certificate, I said, I don't do it because I refer to the nursing home. So immediately they opened the nursing home register and they asked for the nursing home's MTP certificate, which was provided to them. So they said, where is the registration certificate for the nursing home? I said, I am not in charge of the nursing home. Please ask my husband. So my husband provided all the documents to them. So then they said, you are a separate entity out here. I said, yes, we are a separate entity as an IVF center. So then they said, we should take these certificates from 
the nursing home i said yeah yeah they charge us the money so go take it from them so they went to the ground floor they got uh -huh. all these documents this they is how very it meticulous went. which i which we should tell you they were very respectful very courteous but they saw each and everything yeah very polite ma'am which and, culture register uh, were you talking about that they saw which culture register every three months hum log ek karte hain na doctor sahab ek aapke ultrasound se lete hain fir ek corner se lete hain fir they uh, saw those reports in station se lete hain wo sara kaam hame doctor brigadier sharma ne sab sikha rakha hai ha even lab ki calibration reports unhone dekhi hamari patient ke calibration reports they have checked all the calibration check kar raha hai amc bhi check kar raha hai nahi amc ne pucha tha humse calibration pucha tha they asked for calibration and after that they asked was the mtp registration certificate nursing home registration and one more thing they were particular about the consents of all the forms so form number 6 to 15 is what they want now that is what they have pointed it out very particular about the uh, consent form signing yes and you know they whatever they pointed on the register they saw each and everything bahut aaram se dekhte aisa nahi koi jaldi jaldi wali baat nahi hai yes And they they took, in, in my center also they took three and a half hours, you know, for uh, completion. Yes. Uh, Dr. Sangeeta, you want to say something? Please. Dr. Sangeeta uh, also went through a very uh, easy uh, uh, this thing uh, visit by them. So, Dr. Sangeeta. Hello. Good evening, all. Ma'am, Namaskar. So, uh, my experience was very different. Tha. Uh, I had three people to inspect. It. Finished in an hour or so. Yes, they, they they came with appointment to in your place. In our place, they never came with appointment. Yeah, yeah. I knew they asked me. I said कि आप बताइए हम तो available हो जाएंगे बोले नहीं आपको disturbance नहीं हो. So I said नहीं आपका कुछ नहीं है. But it lasted only for an hour. और हमारा बहुत easy था. I knew the person क्योंकि हम लोग के मैम P N D T के inspection के लिए तो वो आते ही रहते हैं. Like we have met many a times before. For PNDT, तो उनके पास सबसे पहली चीज है जो डिफरेंट uh, थी आप लोग के बाद से कि uh, उन्होंने ग्रीवेंस uh, सेल का बताया था कि हमें एस चाहिए होगी क्योंकि हमने अपने फाइल में लगा के भेजा हुआ था दी मैन ऑल तो दे सेट की वी नीड एस ओ पी तो आई डेंट नो इन डे कहाँ से कलेक्ट करें तो जो uh, ये नेशनल वुमेन्स कमीशन की ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल है काफी मोटी सी मैंने उसको डाउनलोड कर लिया दे टुक इट विद देम साइन करा के कि ये एसओपी है ग्रीवेंस सेल की एंड उसमें सारा जनरल बातें थी बट क्योंकि आई वाज गाइडेड बाय देम कि हम ये कर लें तो हमने इसको कर लिया नंबर टू काउंसलर में अभी इस इंस्पेक्शन में मुझे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं हुई लेकिन जब हमने पी का अपना रिन्यू कराया था मे बी एन ईयर बैक so they were very stringent counselor so I myself was the counselor मेरा बहुत छोटा सा सेंटर है तो मैं ही डायरेक्टर थी मैं ही आई वी एफ पर्सन थी और मैं ही काउंसलर थी सो दे एक्सेप्टेड इट आई हैड अ सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ ट्रेनिंग करीब बारह पंद्रह साल पुराना तो दे एक्सेप्टेड इट तो लेकिन ये जो आप पे आप कह रहे हैं मैम कि दे विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट बी यू एम एस और I don't know now they have started putting up the ma'am aaj mail aaya hai mere paas aaj hi bheja hai unhone mail hame to hamare pe maine apne ko hi bataya ki and actually main hi counseling karti thi patients ke to they accepted it regarding ye 50 pickups ka record first question unka ghuste hi tha ki aapne training kahan se li hai aur 50 pickup ki hai ya nahi to i said main to 20 years se registered hai mera center to training to hai hi meri तो कोई भी पिकअप जो कि हम लोग रिपोर्टिंग करते हैं सभी लोग करते हैं हम लोग तो मैंने उसमें से निकाल के उनको आज भेज दिया कि ओके दीज फिफ्टी पिकअप आई डन मुझे मंडे को भेज हाँ तो वो उसका लिस्ट उनको एड्रेस फोन नंबर वो एक लिस्ट दे गए थे हमें आपके पास भी फॉर्मेट आया होगा और उसमें ये लिखा है नेम ऑफ द पेशेंट मोबाइल नंबर उसका एड्रेस कितने एग्स रिट्रीवर हुए और डेट था दैट वॉज इट तो ये था एंड देन ये आपके अगेंस्ट कोई केस नहीं है इसका ये लोग ने एफिडेविट मांगा था हम लोगों से तो क्योंकि बहुत एफिडेविट मांगते हैं तो वो लोग ढूंढ नहीं पाए मुझे खुद नहीं पता था इसका एफिडेविट है या नहीं लेकिन एफिडेविट मांगते हैं कि आपके अच्छा आई एम यूजिंग डोनर्स तो ए बैंक 
मैम रजिस्टर्ड नहीं है अभी कोई लेकिन उनको एक एप्लीकेशन ये चाहिए था लेटर फ्रॉम द ए बैंक कि अप्लाई किया है उन्होंने तो अप्लाई फॉर का मेरे पास था रजिस्टर वो लेटर एंड दे एक्सेप्टेड दैट फॉर ए बैंक Uh, मेरे से इंश्योरेंस चेक किया था मैम डोनर्स के लिए क्योंकि उन्होंने पूछा आप कर रहे हो मैंने कहा हम कर रहे हैं तो उन्होंने डोनर्स की फाइल्स चेक की थी इंश्योरेंसेस जितने हमने लिए हैं ये लॉ आने के बाद वो सारा उन्होंने चेक किया जितने भी डोनर्स मैंने पिछले एक साल में किए हैं सरोगेसी के लिए मैंने कहा कि हमने नहीं किया है आफ्टर दिस लॉ हैज कम इन बट वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग वेरी सुन नाउ बिकॉज वी हैव अप्लाइड फॉर इट एंड वी विल डू इट लीगली आफ्टर द लॉयर गेट्स एस द परमिशन फॉर इट सिमिलर आंसर्स हमने दिए थे। फिर हाँ, फिर उन्होंने पूछा क्या एल्ट्रोस्टिक सर एक बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन पूछा था उनमें से एक ने कि एल्ट्रोस्टिक सरोगेसी करेंगे मैंने कहा वो तो परमिशन आप लोगों को देनी है अगर वो पेपर पे एल्ट्रोस्टिक है तो मैं कर दूंगी अगर पेपर पे एल्ट्रोस्टिक प्रूव नहीं हुई तो हम नहीं करेंगे तो उस बात पे वो काफी घर परेशान रहे कि इसका क्या मतलब होता है मैंने कहा अगर कल को आपको भगवान ना करे घर में किसी को जरूरत पड़ जाए आप मेरे पास आते हैं मान लीजिए तो मैं आपको लॉयर के पास भेजूंगी लॉयर अगर आपका पेपर पे एल्ट्रोस्टिक सरोगेसी दिखा देते हैं तो क्लिनिक को कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होनी चाहिए करने में तो वो इस बात पे काफी देर तक तो हंसते रहे तो मैंने कहा ब्यूरोक्रेट सर रूल बनाते हैं लेकिन साइंस की जब बात आती है तो करने में और कहने में बहुत फर्क आ जाता है तो मैंने कहा जब तक मेरे पास अगर फाइल लॉयर बना देता है मुझे सरोगेसी के लिए आपने कहा कि डिवोर्स्ड वुमन कर सकती है बच्चा लेकिन सिंगल वुमन अगर वो अनमैरिड है तो वो नहीं कर सकती तो हो सकता है वो शादी करके डिवोर्स पेपर पे दिखाएगी फिर वो करेगी मेरे पास आके फिर वापस जाके डिवोर्स ले लेगी तो वो तो लीगल टर्म्स हो गए देर देर इज नो आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑन दीज पॉइंट वेर इट इज कंसर्न और कंसेंट फॉर्म डेफिनेटली हमारे पास हार्ड कॉपीज तो थी ही नहीं तो वो बैठे रहे हमने नेट से निकाल दिया अपने लेटर हेड पे और वो वो ले गए अब सप्लीमेंट कर दिया अपने फॉर्म में तो कंसेंट फॉर्म्स हम लोग प्रिंट करके रखें अपने लेटर हेड पे हमारा चेकिंग उन्होंने कुछ नहीं करी मे बी आई डोंट नो व्हाई दे माइट हैव बीन इन हरी और समथिंग नो नो वीआईपी डॉक्यूमेंट वीआईपी बिकॉज़ दे केम इन द अपॉइंटमेंट टू यू सो दे दे यू वर टेकन एज अ वीआईपी दे चेकड एवरीथिंग दे नेवर आस्क फॉर 50 थिंग्स फ्रॉम 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 अस from myself and dr uh, jyoti they did not ask anything of that kind and donor we have washed out our hands but they were very nice i will say and they yeah. never made it uh, today i have i they never were, think that they, uh, were, you know, they will be sending you by the mail because they know ki our our person is a bims doctor who is counseling and who has been with me for the last 30 years that also they knew there i asked them. a bms doctor cannot work in the nursing homes they are already allowed to work in the nursing homes as rm so he said ma'am maha to quackery case banna chahiye i said sir agar ye counting bhi nahi kar sakte to fir ye jayenge kahan home pe bhi nahi rahenge hamare paas bhi nahi rahenge ayushman to inko allow karta hai sab kuch to fir wo kehne lage ma'am ye to bada debate hai chaliye aap mujhe clarify karega to aaj unka aa gaya hai bsc nursing gns nurse person of a psychology can be a counselor so i will provide one of my nurses as a counselor ma'am so the 50 pickup list that they asked for was it recent uh, recent 50 pickups or oh, like did they say ki recent i provide kariye no, no. i would like i would i'm about giving for last 3 years plus one years ka experience i will provide over the period of 3 years and ma'am for the insurance for the donors also did they see any particular because one lawyer told us that koi irda approved insurance company honi chahiye you can't take any insurance company so anything they fast about there ko insurance chahiye thi registered company se hai wo acha aur ma'am affidavit jo aap bata rahe the ma'am usme unhone kuch specific bola jo kaha case against you to bas ye likhna hai ki koi case nahi hai uska affidavit banana hai absolutely okay hum sir affidavit bhi nahi manga very cooperative and whatever they ask if we don't have you say i'll supplement or i'll give it to you so they'll may ask you to make note and they'll ask you to supplement in their office very yeah, you have to comply with whatever is being pointed out that's more yeah. than i mean after that they don't bother you much and very simple requirements i had this book for last one month which ma'am showed just now 
uh, i never read it but they were having it and throughout the you know the process they, they were pondering over it and word by word they will go with it there was a question here on the chat by dr preeti dabija with the form f see they are very particular about form number 6 to 15 the format to now be filled whatever is applicable d and f they are saying is not important for us but put it as 6 to 15 preeti Ma'am, you are muted. Ma'am, are we checking D forms first? Was it D forms when we answered them? All the forms. Yeah, the Shardha Jain ma'am is right now. All the forms are here, so you don't have to get worried about it. Everything is here in this particular book. No, ma'am, I'm asking you to check the D forms. Lakshmi Nagar. For for people who are in East Delhi, it is available in Lakshmi Nagar. It is available in Kanauj Place. Everywhere it is available. That lady was telling me. Uh, madam uh, who all can be the members of the grievance cell besides the lawyer sir, uh, is i can't hear you you are Ma unmute ma'am sorry doctor one lawyer Hello? one lawyer one ngo member okay one lawyer one ngo okay and these three people and one ima person so i had kept one ima person she is the vice president of our local ima branch then one ngo uh, we have a sister organization wow india the president of that is a good friend of mine dr lakshmi she is there for our nursing home grievance cell also just and then as the lawyer person i have put my husband's name because he is the ima finance secretary so i managed to put his name there yes these three people should be there yeah madam they are very courteous very nice but they are particular about it they did not ask for those 50 uh, pickups and things like this from uh, for myself and dr jyoti yes ma'am doctor uh, doctor rest dr saxena yes unmute unmute yourself yeah good evening ma'am good evening ma'am the art uh, uh, the art uh, uh, thing that is there on online i got a print out of it ma'am and that says and that says that it's 50 pickups or a doctor trained for uh, in reproductive uh, uh, in the fertility for and and having 3 years experience with an art line art institution or uh, a dm in uh, ivf uh, reproductive medicine it's three so i think uh, that should be okay ma'am if yes. 50 pickups are not there yes thank you is sawal pucha nahi but the other two people are telling that they asked uh, uh, you know to show them the list because uh, they could see all the files are there bhai aap jo batao usi file unhone dekha sab almari se nikal rahe the to unko malum hai yahan bahut file is tagged hai because our center will be a new one so i won't have so many records to show <laughs> at least i love the no, files they don't have us because you have been associated in past 3 uh, years with the uh, various ivf centers so they will they will consider that kind of thing they they are not they are not ex they are not ivf expert they are expert in examining and inspecting ivf center that's all so yes one thing i want to add yes you should have certificate or uh, you know a um, statement made by yourself that i have done this signed by you you should have it in written either you have certificate and it should have of 3 years training correct or 3 years working that they so, that they in bed initially all know very clear that madam i hope your all staff is 3 years old bas that's all they asked they did ask our ot technician a lot of questions for the ot procedures where is this suction pump what how do you do it how do you operate they asked our junior embryologist how do you operate this how do you do this on i left them alone i said they should not feel my presence is there for everything uh, i left them alone with the staff for quite some time so they were quite satisfied about everything being in place so one has to play it very cool and calm what is not there say sir we have noted down we will comply with it as soon as possible so i don't think there should be any center we should get into any trouble and we wishing everybody a very smooth inspection and i hope after this meeting called by ma'am once again a heartfelt thank you to you ma'am i i will i will say that you know these are the all points are there which i have just now uh, told you 
that uh, this is what all the points are there before leaving they also said that it will take two months to streamline the entire state of delhi and within two months things will be streamlined and it will become a routine part of the checkups and routine inspection like your pndt this is what the uh, they were very clear you know there are nine we have 11 districts uh, madam all team have been trained and everywhere the local four people will go yes the pndt uh, centers itself the teams have been divided exactly the way our pndt inspections were happening so it was not but then this lady this lady she was a hardonian she she had a, a triple charge she was surrogacy appropriate authority she was art appropriate authority she is pcp entity appropriate authority one lady there was one case i pointed out this i forgot ma'am this is a very interesting one there is a person who came to me who's a second marriage 33 year old staff nurse working somewhere she has been forcefully married in himachal to her sister's husband because the sister passed away now while doing her ibf we missed his age was 59 year old so then we asked them to get an affidavit from the court that you know they, her reproductive rights can be taken care of because she's only 33 the lawyer asked for 1 ,20 lakh 20 25000 fees so I, the patient said i can't pay so much now mm -hmm. so then yesterday i spoke to them they said you write a letter to us we'll get you the permission from the board i said i've already done the pickup now i'm stuck because i missed it so they said don't worry you write a letter to us we'll help you out with this case also because husband sadana has the sadana has asked whether uh, embryologist presence is to be there or not see in yes. our case there are two embryologists one dr shishma vaid and another is uh, uh, dr rashmi so they were they did not make any hue and cry about that okay ma'am uh, ma what about the other centers uh, uh, dr sangeeta bataiye aap apna bataiye regarding no i had the embryologist in the lab at that time uh, and i had a case posted two hours later so they didn't spend much time there and uh, they just went peeped and came out so no checking of registers no checking of equipments no interview at my center nothing happened they asked me i have a question doc sir hamare center mein ye bataya ki madam sare equipments on karke rakho to dekh ke non working equipment hamare liye bhi khulwaya tha sab kuch khulwaya hai sab khulwaya hai kuch bhi khol ke dekhte sab kuch khol ke dekha hai sab khol ke mam i have a question Okay. Ma'am, I'm Dr. Nisha here. I have a bad network, so my camera is off. I have oh, a my. question. Uh, the thing is that that the andrologist we have is not full time. He is just given his documents, and whenever TSA or micro TSA is needed, then he comes. That's so okay. on the day of inspection, we need him to be there. No, no, they did not. No. Ask. They saw no. the particulars, okay. and that's all. Okay, and ma'am, what about anesthetist? A full-time anesthetist is necessary. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. no. So at the inspection time, the anesthetist may not be there. No, no. Okay. Embryologist may not be there because if he's a freelancer. Yes. Okay. वो फोन से भी बात कर सकते हैं डॉक्टर साहब फोन से भी बात कर सकते हैं फोन से भी अच्छा ठीक है and ma'am the third question is that that we have all the donor cycles we are doing we have their affidavits and everything in place but there is no national registry as of now. so we have made a sheet of all the donors only so we we need to show that only beta mera hai to hum the donor liye nahi dr madam batayenge ye dono log sangeeta and dr jyoti bali maine i have i have shown the list of the donors done in the clinic okay. i have shown them the insurances they checked all the files they checked all the consents and every okay. payment has been made to the art bank by yes. check Yes. So everything, but they were—they did not see the financial part of it. But they checked the files, they checked the consent, they checked the insurances. Main okay. concern was the insurances that they were interested in. Okay, okay, we have all that. The only thing is in payments. Also, the patients are making directly to the ART bank. We have nothing. That they did the not question also. financially. Yeah. They have not questioned the clinic on okay. any account. But they were bothered. Ki why Dr. Jain is not doing donor cycle? Then I had to finally say, my sir, there is no ART bank here registered. But then he was quiet. Okay. okay. Or egg donors with me, they asked me. They didn't check any file whatsoever for anything. Mm -hmm. But yes, I also do the same as you are doing, Doctor Nisha. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I have documents, but uh, we don't have yes, format yet. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Let's hope for the best. If we have any question or anything, ma'am, I'm sorry, but we will trouble you. <laughs> Yes. No, no. Three of us. At least I know three of them have 
got the inspection done, but I have not seen my email whether there is any deficiency and things like that. That I will okay. check today. I thought everything is uh, Dr. Sangeeta, uh, you yeah. just mentioned about the SOP. Could you just elaborate about that National Women's Commission? What do we have to do in that? See, uh, once I went through it, it was, you know, very great for me. But this is the National Women's Commission. It is online available hai, a 40 page ka SOP. It is general hai, ki rape case and this case, that case. That is National Women's Commission. So I came to know that we have to keep this. So copy I can post. I don't know where to post. If you can post on the groups, ma'am, that would be really yeah, helpful. Yeah. I'll, I'll post in the same yeah. group, ART. Sir, okay. <laughs> ma'am, we have, we have made a sexual harassment cell and we have made a grievance cell. Two cells, two committees we have made amongst ourselves only. So uh, like we need to keep a document for that, that this is the committee we have made. I was told that that I have already submitted the name of the Dr. committee Shagar, member. Shagar, ma'am, you are on unmute, ma'am. You are on mute, yeah. You are on nursing home, you are on nursing home. So, you have to have this grievance cell, sexual harassment, and if you have a mixed population, like boys and girls, then you have to 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 their organizations were concerned. I was the chairman for that, so I know uh, what uh, this this uh, thing is all about. But, ma'am, director of the director of the clinic can be can be director of the clinic can be member of grievance and sexual harassment. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. yes. Okay. Three members of your group. Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, Thank you. sexual harassment cell is also required for the IVF. No, 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 हमारे पास उन्होंने पहले भी कहा था की हमें एस ओ पी देखनी होगी लेकिन अगर आपने नहीं अगर उन्होंने पूछा आप कह दो हम कल भेज देते हैं नहीं तो अब आप जब आपने बताई देंगे लिंक दे देंगे आप हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल मैं उसको ग्रुप पे डाल देती हूँ बट उसकी ये मुझे नहीं मालूम कि दैट इज दी थिंग क्योंकि वो बहुत इलेबोरेट है उसमें आईवीएफ या डॉक्टर के लिए कुछ नहीं लिखा है इन जनरल इट इज फॉर वुमेन और लेकिन वही मैंने दिखा दिया था और वो ले भी गए उसको हमसे साइन करा के तो मैं उसको तो डाल देती हूँ कि इसी पर लिंक डाल and there is a small thing that is very clear that your counseling depends on your counseling. If you say that we have 100% result, then you will not be able to do it, doctor. Because you have said that we have 100% of our result. If you say that you have to put it in your waiting area, you have to put it in your file, the success rate is this. And I am doing this counseling, we are monitoring our record, you can also record it on your Android phone. What do I talk about? So it will be extra, whether you call me 20 times, I will just say that. Counseling rooms should have a recording. It depends on that. You said that 100% will be a girl. Then you can tell me everything. How do you do counseling? It depends on that. We've got recordings in our counseling rooms. My room or the counselor's room. And even a document signed that we have counseled this point. All the points have to be signed before you enroll for IVF. I think counseling will never be taken out. I will share the format of the counseling also. I will share it with you. Yeah. I will share the format of the counselling tomorrow. Uh, uh, Sada, ma'am, you the counselling. I, I will send it tomorrow to you. Okay, ma'am. Okay. And ma'am, ma'am, I just want to say thank you so much for because you know you all okay. are taking so much time to guide us all and you know so many efforts are needed for that. Thank you, thank you so Dr. much. Yes, ma'am. Ma let me just tell you when I started this group. Surrogacy and DYRT bail, people ask Dr. Brigadier Sharma, Madam, what is your interest? Why are you running this? So Dr. Brigadier Sharma has answered that Madam, there are no children here. They live with white hair, you are doing the same thing. Thank you, ma'am. But you know, this is my only part. Thank you so much. No, no, very thankful, ma'am. This was a great initiative. It's really helped us all. And sir, also Brigadier Sharma, sir, is always here. Ma'am, I'm always here. Dr. Sir, we have all the time Dr. Brigadier Sharma has been taught. No, 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 no. I am learning from you all, man. And I am so happy to see 
the more than 75 you know the people listening to you yes today's yes so wish you everybody a very smooth listen. inspection in delhi thank, thank you everybody so will have a smooth inspection thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for this.